and hopefully I can get... Oh, what the... You gotta be kidding me. That ice chunk just flipped me. Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing the lost but not forgotten task. So for this task, we need to bring the Tuz166 right behind us here back to the village. I think I might just tow it like this back to uh... Oh, maybe we can get it in there. Actually, I think I did get it in there. Um, I forget the controls on this. I've never uh, used this thing. Oh wait, no. I need to lower it and then raise that, I think. All right, let's see. I think we're, uh, maybe not. Uh, let's try and hire it again. Let's try and attach a winch from here. Where is my winch at? I literally don't see it. Oh, there it is. To there. So now we got it winched up right there. Hopefully that uh, keeps it in place. I kind of doubt it. Yeah, it's flipping off already. Maybe it's just too small of a vehicle. Not really sure. Now it's just way up in the air. I wanted to hire it, make it higher because all of the, uh, the rocks and stuff through here, but yeah, once we get onto normal ground, it's probably gonna look crazy high. But like right now, it doesn't look too bad. Wait, is that a truck? Oh yeah, I remember seeing that driving in, that's a tractor. We're just going to be driving through these trees back to the uh, road, which... If I go like this, you can kind of see the road. Right up in front of us there. You can see the guardrail off to our right. I think we're going we're gonna to go just to the right of this tree up in front of us. This bro or two broken down trees, I guess. And uh, then we should be able to get back on the road. I'll try and hook this thing back up a little bit better and then I think I'll take a screenshot while I while I got it hooked up and then we'll try and bring it back to the village which it should be pretty easy once we get uh, back to the main part here let's put it in low plus and see if that moves any faster that definitely did move faster or maybe the ground was slightly better but it definitely seemed to move quicker but again, we were on that little hill there, so maybe it was just that little little chunk of dry ground that kicked it up. I don't know. Ooh, come on. Oops. I don't do much first-person driving. Probably should do that more, just to change things up a little bit. Am I stuck? That's the only thing, though. I can't tell if I'm stuck on something like this, like... Doesn't look like I'm moving. But if you're doing this, I guess it doesn't look like you're moving then either. There we go. Alright. Turn to the left here, we gotta go across the... Um, sort of a bad bridge, if you even call it a bridge. A lot of mud. 
Okay. I had to check to make sure I was going the right way. Because I thought for some reason that I was on the highway going there, but it's clearly off, uh, off the main road. Again, I'm not... I said in the other video, I'm not quite used to these m maps yet. I have driven them a few times, but... Um, once I get towards the end of the update, like, even the end, end of this map, if that makes any sense, but... Um, then I'll, I'll know the maps quite a bit better. Because I'll have driven around them a whole bunch of times, but... As of right now, I haven't done too many contracts or tasks, either here or... Anywhere but Erska River, that's the only one that I know know very well. Because that one I pretty much completed everything. Am I stuck? I picked like one of the worst maps to do this on. Or maybe one of the worst contracts, I don't know. Not even using this vehicle how it's supposed to be. Well, I was until now. But. Right now we're not using it how it's supposed to be used. I just wanted to get onto the main road, but. I think we'll hook it up once we get on this ice over here. Oh, shoot. Alright, let's put it in low plus. Oh, no, I meant reverse. There we go. So you can't have your diff lock on in in uh, reverse unless you go in into the actual gear reverse, not just uh, not just holding the reverse. Oh shoot! That truck's done for. This is going to be like a 15 point turn here, guys. I do not want to get stuck in this broken ice stuff. And I think I got to go just a little bit more to my right. And hopefully I can get... Oh, what the... You gotta be kidding me. That ice chunk just flipped me. Oh no, the car is drifting down river. Oh, God. I don't know if you guys seen that, but it just, it just totally fell into there. Oh, here it comes. Oh, there we go. Luckily, it's a light, nice light car. We're not messing around anymore. You're going up here, buddy. There. That should do it, hopefully. Now I'm completely not using this thing the way it's supposed to be uh, used. I think uh, 
the tow package is cool, definitely. But unless you're on probably like Michigan, it doesn't seem very useful. It's just too rough a terrain most of the time. Actually, you know, Dawn might be might not be bad for it either. It's a uh, pretty rough, but I think it's I think it might be doable there. Uh, I mean that the vehicle's actually very stable. I didn't know if it would be or wouldn't be, but honestly it's 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 pretty well balanced on that side there. And then of course we got the arm on top of it kind of keeping the, the end from flipping out, so it's I don't know, seems like a pretty good spot actually. I know I've actually set cargo on top of like Look at that nice flat spot with three three edges. So you can put it on there and stuff will pretty much stay stay put. I need to turn right here actually. I could go the other way. You can see we got a cat 770G up there. And this thing's taking a wide turn here. Maybe I shouldn't say this thing because I'm the one driving this thing. Alright. But yeah, we I drove a... Uh, I usually kind of put some gas trucks around. And then that way they're kind of... I don't even know if you'd call them midpoints, but... If I need them, I can drive them closer to me and refuel. Um, yeah, at least, you know, now if I needed it, it's, it's this much closer from my garage. I'm not going to refuel this thing because we're going towards our garage. And uh, I probably will be recovering this one. Probably not right away after the mission. I usually just leave it there. And then if I flip a vehicle or whatever, at least this one's in the area. It's closer. Um, and yeah, so that's just how I usually do it. But I don't think I'll end up having to use this vehicle again. And I think I actually like the, uh, well, I know I actually, that's my turn. I like the towing package a little better. The actuating, I don't know what it's called. The towing platform, I think it's called, something like that. I like that one a little better. The one we used in the last video. I think it's just because the vehicle gets up on your bed and then it's a little easier to keep it there because you can pack it. This one with, without being able to... if you could put it in that spot and then pack it I think that would make this way better because then it would kind of stay in there. You know like the... maybe maybe when you pack it it puts chains over the tires or you know so it somehow straps it to those, those forks if you want to call them that. I think that would make it much, much more uh, viable. Because I don't really see people using this very much. Especially not the tow package, it just doesn't, doesn't really work as it should. But it's a very cool idea. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys use the, the um, touch of force with the tow package? If you do, do you like other tow packages better? You know, there's uh, a few other ways to tow a vehicle as well. Alright, twenty-five fifty for that. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, peace.